And we're back for another book of the week where I let you guys in on what I'm reading and loving. A comprehensive rundown of what you need to know before buying and short because you don't really have the time. This week, we're talking about The Unspoken Name by A.K. Larkwood. This book is brand new on the market, coming out just earlier this year. It's another one of those shot in the dark books for me because I didn't really know much about it going in. It made its way across my social media feed a few times and between the cover art being pretty good as well as the name being pretty enticing and kind of a drought of fresh fantasy books for me, I decided I would just give it a shot. I wasn't even sure that I was sold on it, so I listened to it on Audible, mostly because I just had a bunch of extra credits lying around, and I figured, why not? I should just use them anyway. But before we get into things, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy content like this. I've got new pieces coming out every week, and you don't want to miss it. So the first thing I'll say is, this book actually surprised me. Let's get you up to speed. In the unspoken name, our orc protagonist, Kasorwe, has lived her whole life as part of a cult, where she's been chosen to be sacrificed to their god, the unspoken, when she comes of age. However, when the time of her sacrifice comes, she's unexpectedly rescued by a strange wizard visitor named Sethenai. Whisked away from her early end, she becomes a type of acolyte to this Sethenai character, training for years to kind of become his assassin servant girl. She does his bidding for years and finds herself dedicating her life to helping him bring down an empire and return to his rightful throne. The novel is queer fantasy space opera and action packed throughout with some admittedly heavy handed world building. My take on the book is not all raves though. The first thing I can say is that this book is not the best offering of 2020. It's not a classic and it's probably not going to win any awards. The next thing that's important to say is that that is okay. The unspoken name excels in some areas and drags in others, but there's a reason that I decided to do a piece on it. I think it's important to shine light on art that's trying to do different things, you know, experimenting and trying to fuse new elements together. I think it's a good book overall. It can be a little slow in parts and spans a good deal of in-world time, which can make it feel a little bit long. Some characters are insufferable and some are dry. Some relationships are gripping and some less believable. What I like most about this book though is that it's unpredictable. From start to finish, I felt like I was in uncharted territory. Call me uncultured, but I've never found myself reading a book with an orc for a protagonist. This is also not a book about good guys and bad guys. It's about power, emotional abuse, and manipulation. It takes place in a universe with exotic places to see and mysterious gods and magic abound. It takes a step away from traditional sci-fi fantasy, but the step isn't too big. Just enough to be fresh, but not enough to be jarring. Kasorwe's employment to Sithenai is the heart of this book, and I think their relationship is where this debut author shines the brightest. Kasorwe is a lost puppy, and Sithenai is her savior. She can never forget that, but how much does she owe him? Is she expected to condone all of his deeds, and in the end, does it matter? Sithenai might not always be bad, but he's definitely not one of the good guys. Which, it's really hard to tell who's good and who's bad to begin with. Kasorwe is just his puppet. She's been abused and manipulated, and it's honestly unclear whether or not she has anywhere else to go. This struggle is what keeps you on your toes and makes the meat of this story. This fantasy takes place in an epic setting, but it's truly intimate, and honestly, it feels like something that I've never read before. It's the first book in a series, and I'm interested to see how it progresses. Debut authors are always exciting to watch, because with potential like this, who knows where Larkwood can take it. That's it for this one. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. There is new stuff going up every single week, so I will see you guys in the next video.